Hello, I'm Robin Henning, and welcome to another Exchange Life Nugget of Truth. Many of you know that I have the privilege right now of caring for my mom who is on hospice. And while her decline has been slow, it has been steady. And if the Lord tarries, and I hope He doesn't, and takes my mom home to be with Him before the rapture, it will not only be hard for me emotionally, it's also going to be quite difficult for me in my personal life and finances. Well, I was allowing my mind the other week to dwell on these potential changes, and more importantly, I was trying to figure out how, that's an important word, how I was ever going to make enough money in ministry to make ends meet without her Social Security income. Now, I wasn't thinking too long before the Holy Spirit interrupted me by saying to my spirit, do you really think I'm going to stop providing for you? And I sheepishly responded, no, of course not. And then I reset my mind on the truth and, and focused on His faithfulness. You know, the reality is there's never been a day in my life that I haven't had all that I needed. But as you see in my flesh, my Achilles heel is my finances. I can easily fall for the lie that my security is found in having a little bit more money in my savings account, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. That's a lie. The truth is there are so many things beyond my ability or right to control that can drain my savings like that. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a savings account. It's smart, but we have to keep it in perspective and realize that finances, people, there isn't anything on the face of this planet that makes us secure except Jesus. When we're placed into Him, we're in His hands, the Father's hands are around that. And we can't be snatched out. No one can snatch us out. We can't jump out. We're safe and secure there. He keeps us. And beloved, I'm not saying that, that God has given us permission to name and claim whatever we want. No, it's... He is, he's going to provide all that we need. Not all that we want, but all that we need according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So, beloved, there is tremendous security in the reality of knowing that our Papa loves us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the Lord Jesus Himself exhorts us to not worry about tomorrow. He says each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow is going to take care of itself. You focus on resting in Me today. You're going to have what you need today. And you're going to have what you need tomorrow when you need it tomorrow. So, beloved, because we're in Christ, we're safe and secure. He has all the hows figured out. Remember, He's not obligated to us to explain how He's going to provide or how He's going to handle the issues that we face. Why? He doesn't do it most of the time because, number one, He wants us to simply trust Him. Number two, we probably couldn't wrap our brain around the how anyway. So, beloved, remember this. The Lord Jesus is your husband. He's my husband. He's the one who watches over us, protects us, takes care of us, provides for us. Okay? He hasn't stopped being that for us. And he's motivated by love. Not obligation, but by love. He passionately loves us. He wants to provide for us. He's going to provide for us. So, be encouraged by that this, this week. I hope that you learn to rest in him and know that he's going to abundantly supply all that you need according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Have a blessed week in Jesus. We'll see you next time.